Hello again, YouTube friends. I've had a couple questions in the comments about this uh, Super M. Uh, a few people were wanting to know its history and a little bit more about it. Um, this is a 52 Super M. I believe it's a 52. We can look down here at the serial number. 501142. Uh, this tractor came from some friends here locally. Um, they had used it for hay rides um, around the early 2000s, maybe 2003 or four. I'm not really sure, but I did see the tractor run years ago. So I knew it was a good tractor. It ran good. Uh, with a little money and a little time, we could get it going again to run the sawmill. And at that time, I was running the sawmill with a regular M, a 47 model M. So I knew a, a farm all M or a super M would pull the mill for what I wanted to do. Anyways, uh, a little bit about the tractor. We picked it up and I'll post a photo of the tractor uh, when we pulled it out of the, in the condition uh, that it was in when we, when we bought it. Um, we replaced the rear tires, uh, rims on the back, uh, the battery box we replaced, uh, cleaned the fuel tank. Um, I hauled it around in the back of my truck for a week uh, with some kerosene and I would dump it out and replace the kerosene and then haul it around some more until it was clean. Um, the fuel bowl we replaced, I think it had a new seat to come with it. I had to buy the lights. Um, bought a little sticker uh, rebuilt the starter um, cables oh let's see it's, uh, it's missing a medallion right here that's okay we give it a uh, tune up change the uh, coil the points the cap the wires and the plugs change the oil uh, the brakes were okay. I took the covers off and uh, cleaned the brakes, blew the dust out, and they were fine. Uh, we did install a key switch and also a, a safety switch right here because we don't want kids or somebody over here messing around and accidentally start this tractor. Uh, there's a dangerous blade back here lots of danger uh, did replace the gauges it does have new gauges um, changed the rear end oil and that's about all we've done here to the super m uh, and it runs really good i think i also did rebuild the carburetor oh yeah and there's a new radiator i did buy a new radiator the old one was rotten There is a, a slip clutch on the mill. Uh, we'll go around here and look at it. So right here is the drive shaft that runs directly over and runs the blade. And there is a slip clutch in here on the PTO. You can see it right here. So if this blade gets in a bind, a real hard bind, it should slip here, but we did uh, break the PTO shaft on the tractor um, when we first hooked it up. The carburetor was acting up, and the tractor was a bucking and kicking and carrying on, and and uh, that's a lot of weight back here to be messing with. That big blade is heavy. Um, but anyways, it did break the PTO shaft before I could get to it and turn it off. And here, here's that. PTO shaft it broke it broke it back here um, anyways that's about all the problem we've had with the the Super M uh, it's been a good tractor here for the sawmill it, it does a really good job um, now in some of the bigger oak it, it's it's a hard pull we need a whole lot more horsepower than 45 horsepower but I'm very selective in what I cut uh, I cut a lot of pine uh, and it does a good job on pine. It'll cut 20, 
24, 25 inch pine, just fine. Uh, but oak, about 18 inch oak, 20 inch oak, uh, it, it'll give it a load. But anyways, that's a little history about the M, some details about the Super M, uh, and I'll post a few photos uh, of what it looked like. You can check those out. All right, we appreciate it.